now we're going to get into a little bit more of an advanced uh, graphics creation mode. So let's pick a template. Here, this is a good one for now. I'm going to click it. Now, as I told you before in the last video, you can come up here to the Photos and Videos tab and type in something like, um, I don't know, flower. Okay, hit return. And you'll be presented with a handful of really nice images. But what if you can't find the perfect flower, for example? So now we're gonna come up here to this little button here that says, or click here to visit Pexels. Now when you actually click on the Pexels button, it's gonna call up a little window. And now when I type in flower, it's gonna give me a whole bunch more options because Pexels wants you to visit their site, of course. Which, no problem, because they're beautiful pictures and you can use them for free. So, here you'll notice there's a lot more choice. So this is an option. And now, when you wanna use your graphic here, let me find something really quick here so I can demonstrate the next part of uh, this tutorial. Hold on. Ah, here we go. Okay, I'm gonna download this flower. So rather than clicking and dragging, which you can't do from here, it's not gonna work because this is their web page. You're gonna come over here to this little button and you're gonna download it to your computer. And then when you're done, you can close the Pexels box if you want to. And now here's the graphic that I downloaded. I'm gonna drag it right onto my canvas, okay? Awesome. And I'm going to resize it a little bit here. And now the next part of this awesome tutorial, let's close this little panel here by clicking on the X. I'm gonna show you when I click on the graphic. Now I'm gonna come up here to image color. When I click on it, you're gonna see a little button that says remove color. I'm gonna check it, okay? And it, it kind of removes the background. It's not perfect, but you can kind of fine tune it by clicking on this little drag handle here. and Getting rid of as much of the outline and the white as you can. Okay, awesome. And now once it's transparent, I can come over here to the image shadow and do what I like to do. Blur it. Gives it more 3D, right? Cool. Okay, this little remove color works pretty good with most images. For example, let's bring up another graphic. I'm gonna drag this one to the desktop here. I'm into the canvas. I'm gonna click on the graphic, come up here again to image color, and I'm gonna remove the orange. And this time, when I check it, nothing happens because it's actually looking for some a white background or a very light background. Since this is orange, now I'm gonna come over here to the color picker and I'm gonna select the orange color, okay? If I selected her shirt, it would make, well, <laughs> makes her, it makes her transparent, which might be kind of a cool trick in itself. Oh, that's kind of neat. <laughs> but for now, let's click on the eyedropper and remove the orange. Now you're gonna notice it doesn't do Super good, but this isn't a bad, it's not a bad cutout. Turn off the eyedropper and make her a little bit bigger. Let's make this a little smaller. Cool. Okay, now let me show you one more thing here. So let's say I have a graphic like, um, like this one. Let's bring her over. Okay, now you're gonna notice that this is a white background. She's also got a white shirt and white eyes and white teeth, so because I've used the software a lot, I can almost tell you that when I delete the white, it's also gonna delete her eyes, the white of her eyes and, and her shirt. So I'm gonna try it real quick. Let's click on the graphic, come over here to image color and remove the color again. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, now I can kind of fine tune it a little bit and bring back her shirt, but it's really tricky because the software is really meant to have, um, like when you have clip art kind of thing, not meant for like fine gradients of, of white in the eyes and that kind of thing. So let's delete her here. There's a website, let's go online here. And I'm gonna type in remove.bg. Now remove.bg is a service that deletes the background from most images. So what you're gonna do is come over here to your to your uh, folder of graphics or whatever, and you're gonna find an image like her, 
and just drag it onto the uh, into the window. And background removes beautifully the background. I don't know how it does it, but it just knew that she was the subject and it didn't want the background. So I'm going to download this. And now, let's find this so I can drag it to my desktop. Now I can drag it. Here is my canvas. Now I can drag it right over on top. And now, let's remove the flower out of the way. I'm going to go to image format and I'm going to flip her. Awesome. So when the software can't remove the background super easily, within 30 seconds I can come to remove.bg and create a really nice graphic with it. In the next video, we're going to go over some really cool tricks using the shapes that are built into the software. See you there.